So we're going to use the remainder theorem in a kind of interesting way. It gets turned around on its head a little bit in this problem. What this problem asks is it says the polynomial f of x, and you know, this big long thing, is divided by x minus 3. For what value of w will the remainder be 2? So let's break that down a little bit. What this is asking us to do is use the remainder theorem and then figure out what w is. So remember what the remainder theorem it says. Remainder theorem says that if you take f of x and you divide it by x minus a, the remainder, remain, why can I not spell? Remainder is f of a. Okay, so let's bring it back to our case. We're dividing this by x minus 3. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of a, and I am putting in 3 in its place, which means over here, that is f of 3. So is f of 3 equal to 2? That's what the question is. Let's do it. Up. Let's figure it out. Uh, f of 3 equals 4 times 3 to the 4th power minus 12 times 3 cubed minus 5 times 3 squared plus w times 3. There's that w. What is that thing? Plus 14, and all that equals 2. Remember, that's what it's, it's telling us right here. The remainder is 2. Well, what's the value of w that makes this true? It's just a big ugly equation with a whole bunch of numbers in it. It's, should be no problem, right? So let's pull up the old calculator here. 4 times 3 to the 4th power is 324 minus 12 times 3 cubed. Oh, look at that. Minus 324. Um, really? Okay, yep, that's right. Minus well, 3 squared is 9 times 5, so that's minus 45, plus 3w, plus 14 equals 2. Okay, great. So I know this thing's going to simplify pretty quickly because those two things just canceled out. And uh, negative 45 plus 14 uh, turns into negative 31 equals 2. So that means 3w equals, add 31 to both sides, we get 33 and w equals 11. So in other words, if we take that 11, plug it all the way back up here into that w, and then evaluate the remainder of uh, f divided by x minus 3, you will get the number 2.